Okay, so today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite musicians, ex-Guns N' Roses guitarist Izzy Stradlin. I want to talk about what he may be up to now, what the future holds, and will he ever come back to music, either his solo career or back with Guns N' Roses. Before we get started, if you could, please help support my channel by liking this video and subscribing. You'll be sure to catch future videos. I would appreciate that. Okay, so to know where we're going, we have to know where we've been. So let's get started with a little background on Izzy. Izzy Stradlin grew up in Lafayette, Indiana. He got interested in music and started a cover band in his garage with Axl Rose as their lead singer. And they never got out of the garage because there's no clubs to play in Lafayette. He started a relationship with Axel that would continue later and after graduating high school with a D average the only original member of GNR to do so he moved to Los Angeles California he played in some bands and then found his Indiana buddy Axel and formed Hollywood Rose this band eventually combined forces with Tracy Guns band LA Guns to become Guns N' Roses so after some lineup changes they finally settled with Axel Izzy slash Duff McKagan and Steven Adler and the band released their debut, Appetite for Destruction, in July 1987. It went on to sell 28 million copies worldwide. But as the success grew, so did tensions with the band. And in 1989, when opening for the Rolling Stones, Axel even threatened to leave the band if certain members didn't stop dancing with Mr. Brownstone. Izzy's own sobriety was initiated after a public urination incident on an airplane where he was sentenced to a year probation and he had to get drug tests. So once he got sober, his outlook kind of changed. He became disillusioned with the band. He had issues with other members being late, being on drugs, and some financial things upset him as well. So he said, quote, when you're fucked up, you're more likely to put up with things you wouldn't normally put up with. After releasing the double Use Your Illusions albums and doing some shows, he finally decided to leave and form his own band, The Juju Hounds. The album with The Juju Hounds got great reviews, but interestingly enough, it's rumored that he actually turned down an opening spot on a Bon Jovi tour and a guest spot on Saturday Night Live while he was with The Juju Hounds. After briefly returning to GNR to fill in for some shows, he took a hiatus from music for a while and focused on some other things. His his other passions, skateboarding, dirt bikes, and other stuff. Uh, he'd later continue on with the solo career and release more albums. But from what I can tell, uh, he didn't tour that much or at all and did very little live shows as a solo artist. He would occasionally jump on stage with GNR or even Velvet Revolver. He was also originally set up to actually join Velvet Revolver. He bailed on Velvet Revolver and also bailed on the GNR reunion. And the reason that I'm told he didn't want to join Velvet Revolver was an aversion to life on the road and working with a lead singer. And it seems like that would also be the same reason to not participate in the GNR reunion. But he also later said in a since deleted tweet that he didn't want to rejoin the band because, quote, they didn't want to split the loot equally. OK, so now the question becomes, what has he been up to recently? Uh, from what I can tell, he hasn't made a full solo record since 2010's wave of heat there were a few solo singles released in 2016 and he played on a john mellencamp song in 2017 but after that the case kind of goes cold so where is izzy now it is reported that he's living in or around ojai california but what is he doing there is his health okay is he making music? Does he have a bunch of music he's been sitting on that he wants to release? Has he had any contact with the Guns N' Roses guys? And has he written or recorded any music with them? Uh, or is he producing music for other people? So many unanswered questions. And the only thing I've seen from him in the last six years are some tweets wishing people a happy holiday around Christmas time and thanking people on his birthday for the happy birthday tweets. So you may ask, why do I care? Well, Izzy is laying low and he can do that. He's certainly earned that right with all the success that he's had. But I guess I just don't understand that because uh, I'm a fan and I think he's one of the most gifted musicians and songwriters on the planet. Uh, people would kill to have his talent. So why not share that with the world? It's just so unusual. You don't see that very often where someone with popularity in music does not capitalize on that. Even many of the most successful musicians are still out there doing it because they love it. I mean, you look at the Rolling Stones, Paul McCartney, and even his Guns N' Roses bandmates are still out there doing shows. 
And I don't think they have to. I'm sure they could all just retire and travel for fun, spend time with their family or whatever. Uh, but they're still doing music. And I'm sure some people will say it's for the money. But I mean, how much money do you really need? I think it's because they enjoy it and it gives them a sense of purpose. But many people retire from jobs they hate and they're happier. But eventually, I think even in retirement, they have to have some sense of purpose. Maybe that purpose is simply being a father or grandfather or a husband or friend. But oftentimes, I think the happiest people are the ones who have something more or even if it's simply some community service or mentoring someone else or maybe woodworking in their garage, but they're doing something that makes life meaningful and bringing something into this world that benefits others. And I feel like with Izzy Stradlin, that has to be music. He's just too talented to waste that. And the world could use some good music right now. We are so divided in so many ways and he could make a new record that could really be a reason for people to get excited and have something to look forward to. Or imagine if Izzy got back with Guns N' Roses, at least to record a few songs, if not a full album. That could be something to bring people together. The whole country, if not the whole world, could get behind that record. Maybe Izzy is burnt out on music and he doesn't want to write or record or perform. And maybe he's found happiness in other areas of his life. Maybe he discovered Buddhist philosophy or yoga or something else. And if that's the case, then I'm even more curious about his life because I feel like that's a secret that could help the world even more. Despite having a profound musical talent, he found happiness with something else. If that's true, he should definitely share that with the world because I think we need that even more so than a new GNR record. Izzy, if you're watching this, I'd love to hear what you've been up to, whether it involves music or dirt bikes or something totally different. I am interested. You're welcome on my show anytime. As for everyone else, please like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Have a great day.